We are very excited because Adina and Kara, Kara with a C and with a K, are joining us now to tell us all about it. Welcome, ladies. Hi. Hi. Syacid in the house. Syacid in the house. I'm from Comac. <laughs> I'm from Comac. Ah. Comac. <laughs> Oh, she's from Comac? Mm -hmm. Oh, I couldn't hear that. That's, oh, right that's the movie theater I went to for a very long time. It is? That's where you could sneak in to different movies because there were so many Comac theaters. Movie theater? mm -hmm. oh. So cool. Nice to see you, ladies. Okay, so one more <laughs> just strange small world, and we'll get to the book. But Adina, you and I were doing the same thing in September of 2009 because my son was born on September 1st, and yours was born oh, on yeah. September 2nd. So we were doing the same thing yeah, at that well, time. In labor at the same time? <laughs> yes, <laughs> at least in the oh hospital at the same oh, that's time. that's so great to hear. I yeah. Didn't know that. Right, so, so you have a 13-year-old also. Yeah. Yes. I do. Does he worship you? Does he worship his mother or does he want nothing to do with her? <laughs> he really does like me unless his friends are around. <laughs> oh, I get it. Yeah. All right, so tell us about the book. I read it. It's wonderful. Oh, Thank thanks. You. Thanks. Um, yeah, it's called Loud Mouse. Um, it focuses on Dee, which is a name that my family has always called me, and Kara Lee. And um, when I was little, I was, um, I had this voice, and deep down, I kind of knew that I had something special to share. Um, but sometimes I was conflicted about how much space to take up and how much um, to call attention to myself. And yet it felt so good when I was doing what I loved and it made me feel huge inside and it filled my heart, you know? So there's a lot of contradicting um, feelings, complicated feelings. And I knew that my sister was the author and the teacher and um, that I didn't want to do a children's book without her. She was the one that would really help make it something truly special. Ah, uh, yeah. And, and, and Kara, I know that you uh, talked about, it, it's just wonderful you came together. I know Adina said she wouldn't have done this if she couldn't have done it with you. And talk about the importance of even getting this message out because you've spent your life yes. teaching kids. Yeah, it's, um, I just, I mean, it's such an important message, I think, to share with kids. And for me, having read so many children's books and understanding the importance of sort of having a clear, explicit message that kids can walk away with, but also having other um, jumping off points for me meaningful messages uh, embedded in there so that as kids grow and develop, they can read the book and have a new experience with it and get something new out of it. Um, that was really important to me. And so the, the how of how to do loud mouse, the how to uh, the how of how to tell this, get this message across was, um, was a challenge and a really exciting part uh, of the book and the process. And talk to us about the illustrator, Jacqueline Sinquet. She did an unbelievable job. Isn't she great? Yes. We, that was one of the times we had so much, the, the, one of the most uh, fun times that we had with the process of the book because we, um, she just, it's so exciting when you collaborate with someone and you feel like they just reach inside of you and understand you. And when we saw Dee in her illustrations and when she depicted um, one of the scenes in the book, um, it just, it's like she got it. And she had this humor that we really wanted. I always love those Richard Scarry books. I love, I love the detail of illustrations. And like Kara was saying, it's fun when you read a book over and over and over if you can keep having discoveries. And an illustrator can do that with such amazing detail, you know? And so she has this great um, humor, but also this painterly quality, you know, it's it's still really artistic and beautiful, her drawings. Mm -hmm. Well, it's such a fun book, but Adina, I think it's so interesting because, you know, here you've been celebrated for this unique voice. I mean, Let It Go became an anthem. I'm sure you, I don't know that you expected police officers to be singing it in the streets. <laughs> 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 but, you know, at one well, point... That's that's funny that you say that, the police officer. What made you say that? I'm just curious. <laughs> um, because we did stories about local officers performing your songs, like at their... <laughs> oh, yeah. That's yeah, amazing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because I but, was thinking, wait, does she know the time that I got pulled over for a speeding <laughs> ticket? And I was like, do you have little girls? Because I'm the singer of Let It Go. He was like, I don't care. You're getting a ticket. <laughs> but... When you were young, you you weren't confident, and I think that the message is that I mean you didn't know what to do with your voice, and here it became this thing that um, captured the world. But you weren't always like that. Oh, thanks. I um, yeah, I don't know. It's um, I think that when 
Yes. I mean, it's it's the kind of thing like, um, like I said before, that it just, it feels so good when you're doing what you love. And I just think that, like Kara, you know, there are people that when you're seven, you're not, you know, it's rare to be like me who says, you know, I want to do this when I'm older and that's my thing. Most people are still discovering um, all these different pathways and what they want to do. They may still be discovering at our age, you know, or maybe you change the path that you want to take. And so we actually like playing with that a lot. Um, mm -hmm. Uh, Actually, we play with that a lot. There's a follow-up book called Proud Mouse, and we're going to explore sort of the oh, flip nice. side of things, and you'll get to see their relationship as uh, Dee supports Kara Lee with all these curiosities that she has and um, a little bit of confusion around not having a thing the way her sister has a thing. Right. Um, Kara had to grow up in the shadow of a very loud, annoying older sister. Uh. <laughs> we have to let you go, ladies, but we could spend the whole show talking to you. Thank you so much for your time. Thank, Thank you. you. Thanks for promoting the book. Oh, it's great. It's great. Oh.